Hey everyone, meet my new BFF. She listens really good. <laughs> Still early. What's up, Threadheads? It's getting hotter outside, so you know what that means? More t-shirt recons. So I'm gonna show you a really simple, no-sew t-shirt recon that helps you turn an old, kind of baggy t-shirt into a beautiful, adorned racerback t-shirt. First, pick out the t-shirt you wanna use. You want it to be loose-fitting, but not too large on you, and I like to work with 100% cotton. Then I usually cut the collar off. And since this is a V-neck, it's gonna have a V shape. But this also works with shirts that have rounded collars. Now locate the side seam about five inches down from the armpit and make an angled slit. I am a slit. <laughs> Insert your scissors into one side of the slit and cut up the side till you reach the top seam. Make sure not to cut too far in if you want full boob coverage. Next, place a pin in the back of the shirt, indicating how far in you want the racer back to go. The pin should be about four inches down from the collar. Start cutting where you left off at the top seam, down the back like so, till you reach that first slit you cut. You can also cut the bottom off a bit if you're so inclined. Next, make a small slit about half inch down from the back collar. Cut a longer slit about one inch down from that small slit you just cut and continue doing that down the length of the racer back. And you also want to have them decrease in size as you reach the ending point you want with the bottom slit being smaller than the rest. Then stretch out all your cuttings and it's time for the fun part. Okay, take this strip and loop it under the strip above. Pull it down, then loop the next strip through that loop and so on and so forth until you reach and loop the last possible strip. You can hand sew that last loop down with a needle and thread to keep it in place, or you can cut a slit in the bottom half of the last hole like so, then cut that last strip in half and tie each side to its corresponding flap in the bottom hole. Just tuck those little ends in and that part is done. Lastly, stretch the sides of the shirt really good and go rock out to your favorite music festival. There's a ton of variations you can do with this design. You can choose to leave the racer back plain. You can choose not to weave the little strands and just leave it kind of tiger striped. Whatever you decide to do, it's up to you. That's what DIY is all about. Make it fit your style. Also, make sure to subscribe for more awesome DIYs and post pictures of your projects to our Facebook page because we love to see them. Till next time. Yeah, fine.